Hello there, YouTube. Um, so, picked up this Pooge Naked uh, screen, which is specific for the Honda CB300F. Um, see right here, made in Spain, CB300F uh, screen. I got this on uh, Revzilla. I think it was about uh, 140 US, something like that. Uh, here's my bike here. I'm going to install that and show you uh, show you what it looks like installed. Uh, you, it's pretty easy. Looks like I only need a couple tools. So in the box here, put the windshield uh, in a bag. And, uh, so there's the windshield there. A little bit dusty. Um, and it sits kind of like this, I guess. So I'm just put that aside over here. And I've already kind of opened this and looked at the instructions and stuff, but it's pretty simple. It comes with instructions. Um, there's just a couple pictures, not a big deal. Uh, and it comes with these brackets. So these brackets here, these uh, chrome screws pop off, and then these brackets sit like this, I think. Yeah, like that. So I've got this rag here to protect the tank. Got two brackets. And a bunch of screws and bolts. Okay, so I pull out these bolts and uh, so we've got four of these bolts which replace those chrome uh, top bolts on the handlebars and we've got four rubbery screws that hold the windshield on specifically. And uh, it also comes, so you need little spacers, I'll show you where these spacers go when I bolt this together. Come on. There we go. So we get everything out of here. Uh, so there's four spacers, and then there's four little plastic caps uh, just to protect these. Oops protect these screws here so that the dirt and stuff doesn't get in. It makes it look a little bit nicer too. So four little plastic caps and a little rubber nubby to protect it from rubbing on your bodywork. So you only need three tools. You need a three millimeter uh, hex drive and that's for this, for this screw here. And you will need a six millimeter hex drive for these screws and you'll need a 12 millimeter socket with a ratchet or you can use a, uh, a wrench if you want um, but it's probably easier with this ratchet so pop these off here now the, uh, the instructions say you probably want to do one at a time so that the bar doesn't move because if you loosen all these the bar could move so we'll just take these out and we'll do the one side and then uh, we'll do the other side. So, so these come out pretty easily. Put those aside. Alright, and now this is what these spacers are for. So this is a little bit tricky. You put these spacers here. I assume this is going to be tricky. Alright, so because if you if you look at this, there's these are indented, so there's a little lip here. So if you just put this straight on there, it's not going to sit flat. And actually, that's not the right one. There we go. This one that sits there like that, so it won't be flat. So you have to put the little spacer and then put the bracket. And then get the screw in there. Oh, it wasn't that bad. 
And just get that loosely and then grab another screw. And put this one in. There you go, and we'll hand tighten that. Then grab your 12 mil, or sorry, 6 mil hex key here. And they don't have to be super tight, but snug them up. You don't want the bar moving. There we go. And then we'll pull these two off. It's a really pretty quick, uh, quick thing to install. And once you have it together um, with the screen on, you can actually just pull this off if you wanted to take the screen off uh, while, you know, without taking everything apart. You can just, if you want to take a screen off, say, and, and ride around the city without the screen on, you can do that pretty easily. You won't have to take everything apart. Oh, good. Just lost one of those little spacers, but I'll grab that. There we go. Let me get that nice and loose and then grab the spacer. They do roll. There we go. Yeah, so you can just pull these brackets off after because there is those other screws for the screen, but the screen, everything can come off as one. Uh, it's just they don't package it like that. So get this nice and snug. There we go. So that was easy enough. Now, take these rubber, so these are rubber. Take those and you just slide them into the holes here. And they're gonna wanna fall out because of the angle of the bike. The other side will be easier. That's why everything's kind of falling here. All right, so get these in here. We have four screws, and they have a little rubber washer on there to protect the screen. And you got a rubber on the other side. So grab this. I'm going to put this side on first so it doesn't fall off. And just get it started with my fingers and then grab that three mil and tighten that up a little bit there you go and then get this stretched over I get my other screws here Finger tight. The other side. And then uh, tighten them up. This one's kind of, because I'm using this T handle, it gets in the way of the signal light, but the signal light moves, so it's not uh, the end of the world. This one's a little bit crooked, so make sure you get it in straight. You don't want to cross-thread it. And then uh, get the other side in here. And now, of course, these snug them up. Uh, and what happens here is the rubber kind of expands, it looks like, and it tightens it up. Don't go too tight because it is plastic, remember? Polycarbonate or whatever, but it, you know, you can crack that if you go too tight. And get over here and get these tight and up. Just snug, they don't have to be crazy tight. We don't want it to move either, so. There we go. I think that's good enough. And you can pull the sticker off. 
comes off nicely. And so you get this little rubber nubby. And we take that, and that is to protect right here from bouncing. So I'm going to put it on the windshield right inside there. So now if it bounces, it uh, it won't scratch or scuff up the plastic on the bike. And just hold that down, get it nice and stuck down so it stays. And like I said, so if you want to take the windshield off later, you can just pull these two brackets off and just pull the thing off. You don't have to uh, disconnect all the side brackets. And then you got the four caps. Push those into here. That's just to kind of protect it from dirt and make it look a little bit nicer. So push those in so they don't pop out. And these might be a pain to get out later. So if you plan on, you know, taking your windshield off and on often um, for some reason, then I would maybe skip these little plastic nubs because you might break them taking them off. Oh, well, they come off. They don't really stay. Maybe they won't. Maybe they won't uh, stay in there and they'll just fly out. I don't know. Anyways, that's what they're for. So, there you have it. Take a look here. It looks pretty good. Uh, it kind of matches the bike. And uh, it looks good. Hopefully it makes a difference. Alright, so I took that for a ride. Uh, and uh, it definitely makes a difference if you uh, if you're out on the highway or something and you tuck then you like the wind goes right over you um, it does vibrate a bit but I guess that's why they got the little nubby thing there you could probably stick a second nub in there and then it'll actually be touching so it won't vibrate as much it'll hold down there uh, but it makes a difference on the highway uh, and uh, if you tuck you know the wind is a lot less on you know in the city you're not going to really notice much difference uh, I did notice maybe a little bit less uh, on my chest area but that's about it anyways I think it looks good I'd probably just leave it on there and uh, and enjoy it thanks for watching